Hi everyone, this is Nicole, and in this video, I will show you how to make your story interactive by playing voiceovers. So the first step would be to create your page, add a character, add a speech bubble, and in this case, I want my fox to say, oh no, when I click on him. So, to start, we will first go to the Sounds tab, click on the Record VoiceOver button, which is orange. A popover will appear. You may need to activate access for your microphone. And when you're ready, click Start Record. There will be a countdown. Oh, no. When you're done, press Stop, add a record name, and you can preview your sound to check it. Oh, no. If you like it, press save, and your recorded sound will be saved. So, how do you actually play this sound now? Well, you will need to go to the event graph. Click on the button at the top called event graph. This will flip the page. Here is where you will code your interactions. So the interaction I want is when the user clicks on the fox, the voiceover will sound. In order to do that, I need three blocks. The first block is my fox, which is an object. The second block is my event. In this case, I want the click event because when I click on the fox, I want something to happen. And I need a function, which is what's gonna happen. And in this case, I want to play a recorded sound. So these are the three blocks we will work with. Now, how do we connect these three blocks together? So, um, I think it should be here. And here, it will go to the start. So the logic here is when the object, which is the fox, is clicked, then you will start the function play record sound. Right now, we don't have a sound selected, so that's bad. We will need to select a sound, and in order to do that, you will need to double click and select your sound. Now, we can preview it to see if it works. Click preview. And when the object is glowing, it means you can click on it. Oh no. And when I click on it, you can hear the sound. So that's how you can easily add voiceovers and make your story interactive on elementary. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like or subscribe so that way you can get updates on our latest tutorials and ideas on how to make interactive stories on elementary. Thank you. Bye-bye.